So it's really interesting that you've both chosen an interest in this period uh, and in the topic of American flyers, but, but I notice neither of you is focusing on what is arguably the most famous chapter in this aviation history during the war, which is the American volunteer group, better known as the Flying Tigers. Everyone knows that. I had a Flying Tiger model airplane when I was a kid, and before I even knew what they were. So I suppose this brings up the question, were the Flying Tigers just better at branding <laughs> than, than the Hump Flyers or the, or the Doolittle Raiders or later groups of aviators? Or is there something more intrinsically romantic and compelling? compelling about that episode in the war. My personal theory is that, yes, they were better at branding. When you have a name like Flying Tigers, it's, it's just so cool. It is. And also, they got, they got John Wayne to play in their movie. Oh, that's so, right. So, of course, I mean, how can, you, how can you compete with that? 